Hey everybody, Andy here. How you doing? Good to see you. More people than ever are realizing that you don't have to go into office to make money. You can wear sweatpants and be just as successful as anybody wearing a three-piece suit. So small businesses and side hustles are on the rise. If you're one of those new entrepreneurs hitting the market and hitting the streets, I gotta ask you an important question. Do you have a separate bank and account for business income and expenses? Having a separate business bank will keep you from having a spaghetti bowl of receipts and invoices that you or your accountant have to sort through at tax time. Trust me, if you're thinking about starting a small business or already have one, you need a business bank account. Trust me. So, if you don't have a business bank account yet, well, you probably should. If you do have a separate business bank account, well then, virtual high five. Slap your monitor, hit your screen. I will tell you that my very top pick today is Novo Bank, but still stick around and find out about my top five business bank picks and why they might be right for you. And if while watching, you get some useful info out of this video, then please help out my small business by giving this video a like and consider subscribing to my channel. It's free for you and helps out my small biz, this channel, a lot. Okay, on to the video. Before we can get into the specifics of my top bank picks, let me break down why you should consider separating your personal and business finances besides how messy your taxes will be if you don't. My top reason for having a business bank account is obviously to separate my finances. It makes tax time easier, but did you also know it covers your backside too? Separating your personal from your business finances protects all your personal money if you were ever sued. Not exactly something that is fun to think about, but using a separate bank account and filing to create an official business entity like a limited liability company or LLC keeps your personal money from being up for grabs in a lawsuit. Another super valid reason to have a separate business account is that it's just more professional sounding when receiving or issuing payments. Imagine how impressed they will be when you tell them to make the payment out to your friend Andy, global conglomerate Industries LLC. Hmm. So impressed. It not only makes your business seem more legitimate, but it also makes you seem more credible. If you're serious about your business, you will want other people to take you seriously too. And this is an easy and helpful way to do that. There are even more benefits, but that covers a few that matter to me most when I was setting up my first business bank account. Now that we've discussed why I think it's so important to have a separate personal and business account, let's talk about which accounts I think have the most to offer to your business. Here are the things I consider most important. Number one, accounts you can easily sign up for online. I don't want accounts with a complicated or lengthy process. I don't want to go into a physical location to do it. Number two, I only want unlimited transactions. Some accounts have caps on the number of transactions in a month and I don't want those kinds of limits. Number three, accounts with no minimum balance are the only ones I will consider too. I don't wanna be worried about balance requirements or owing fees. If you're just starting off in your side hustle, you need less stress and not more. Minimum balance requirements lurking around the corner to find you if your balance dips below the minimum are not for me. And finally, number four, my last requirement is more of a request. I like banks that offer business savings accounts or money market accounts rather than just checking or at the very least a way to have sub accounts. Is it necessary? No, but the option for a savings vehicle without commingling personal and business finances is a major plus. Another big one is it allows me to have my state and federal income tax money set aside and not mixed in with my main day-to-day -day working capital. Okay, on to the top banks. Number one on my list today is Novo Bank. Novo was established as a business bank, not a personal bank that dabbles in business banking on the side. As such, it caters to all business entities, S Corps, C Corps, LLC, and just straight up sole proprietors slash freelancers slash freelancers. You don't have to have government issued business documents to get the benefits from this bank and you don't have to have a lot of money to get started. Business owners can open an account with as little as $50 and expect to pay exactly $0 in monthly fees and there is no minimum balance. In fact, anyone banking with Novo can expect a fee less experience unless they overdraft or have uncollected funds. The fees for those are $27 each. Now I typically make a bar face when I see that a company charges insufficient fund fees, but since they don't have any fees for anything else, and I know you're gonna be super responsible with your money, the $27 fee should not be an issue. One of the biggest perks of Novo is probably their free debit card and refund on any and all ATM fees. Yes, 
all. Any fees that you pay during the month at the ATM will be refunded to you at the end of each month. I don't recommend using those ATMs that look like they were around when the Oregon Trail was still on DOS, but you could get those fees back too if you decide to risk it. It's incredibly easy to sign up for an account with Novo. They don't require you to swear to give them your firstborn or report your mother's favorite aunt's blood type. Their mobile app is fantastic and highly rated too. As a business owner on the go, it's nice to know that you can do all your banking right from the palm of your hand. Finally, the reason that Novo takes my top spot is because it's perks and integrations. Novo has integrations with Slack, Xero, Stripe, Wise, QuickBooks, and Shopify. My personal favorite is the Stripe integration because you can see your balance and make transfers right from your Novo account. Novo also has so many perks too. They offer perks for Stripe, Google Cloud, Gusto, QuickBooks, and GoDaddy to name just a few. These range from cash savings to yearly discounts to ad credits to extended free trials. For a lot of businesses, these provide a ton of value to anyone who would use these to make their business better. I only listed a few here, but I recommend stopping by their website to check out what perks you could benefit from the most. And if all of that is not enough, they also offer sub accounts that are called reserves and they offer invoicing. There's so many great features for a small biz here. My next top pick is NBKC, or the National Bank of Kansas City. But Andy, didn't you say you wanted a bank that was all online? I did, and this bank is functionally an online bank, despite the fact that it has Kansas City in the name. You don't have to profess your love or loyalty to the Chiefs or Royals, or fly to a local branch location to open account. And bonus, this bank has both a business checking and money market account. NBKC accounts can be opened online in as little as five minutes, and their account comes with a long list of no's, which in this instance is a good thing. NBKC accounts have no minimum balance, no monthly fees, no overdraft or non-sufficient fund fees, no transaction limits, and no fees for any domestic wire transfers. Did I mention that you also get a debit card for $0 too? To pair with the checking account, they offer business money market accounts. Like the checking account, they have no fees or minimums. This account doesn't require any money to open. MBKC does not require a desktop to do most of the banking. They do have a mobile app that lets you make transactions or deposit checks right on the spot. If you've heard the phrase, put your money where your mouth is and thought for sure that didn't apply to any banks, You'd be wrong about that one. NBKC really stepped up its customer service to small business owners during the pandemic. The next bank winning top business banking honors is Oxygen Bank. That's right, breathe it in. Oxygen Bank is pretty new, but the owner saw a need for better banking for freelancers and business owners who wanted a personal banking experience for their business account. The thing that garners the most attention at Oxygen is the cash back offer on purchases. They offer up to 7% cash back on purchases, but that means business owners need to be using their cards. Is that a perk? Heck yes, but it is only a perk for people who are actually using their card a fair amount. Oxygen Bank has no minimum balance, no transaction fees, no monthly fees, no transfer fees, like the other banks topping this list. They do have an additional really amazing product to secure your account that separates them from the other business banks. Oxygen Bank has virtual credit cards that you can create anytime you want, even for as little as a one-time use. They also have instant alerts in case something unusual or sketchy is happening on your account. Oxygen Bank also offers business savings with rates ranging from 0.25 to 1.25% APY. Now let's talk about the artist formerly known as Radius. Radius, now known as Lending Club, is another business bank worth talking about. To open an account at Lending Club, business owners must make a minimum deposit of $100. Unfortunately, the Lending Club account also comes with a $10 monthly fee. This probably seems like a huge bummer when comparing this account to the other ones, but there are some definite perks you're getting with that 10 bucks. This account earns both interest and offers rewards on purchases. The standard reward is 1% cash back, but offers up to 1.5% in some categories. There is one smallish caveat with the Lending Club account, and that is to take advantage of the interest or cash back, business owners need to keep a minimum balance of $5,000 in their account. For established business owners, this might be no big deal. For those just starting though, this might be price exclusive and simply make the juice not worth the squeeze. Lending Club does have unlimited transactions and they give you back ATM fees. Their mobile banking app is also chef's kiss and helped Lending Club top nearly every business banking list out there. Is it right for everyone? No. Is it right for people who carry a balance of $5,000 or more month to month and value both interest and cash back? Absolutely, it could be. The last bank I want to talk about today is Lily with two L's, not three. I checked out this bank because one of my viewers recommended it and I'm so glad that I did. Lily is a bank specifically for freelancers and small business owners. Lily has been around since 2018 and was created because the founders see freelancing as a 
way of the future. Again, I don't see how being able to wear sweatpants and still make money is a bad thing. Lily charges no monthly fees, no overdraft fees, no transfer fees, no return check fees. There are fees associated with the business account if you hit up out of network ATMs. You'll be throwing down $2.50 in fees in addition to whatever the ATM charges you. Now I like big butts and I cannot lie. And the fact that Lily has roughly 33,000 in network ATMs in the US, it is a big butt that means you don't have to work too hard to not pay the ATM fees. Lily also splits your money into buckets for you if you like. There's a tax bucket that pulls out taxes for you automatically and sets them aside so you'll have them when you need them. Additionally, Lily has an emergency bucket for hiccups that come up. Lily doesn't include that money in your overall available balance, so it's kind of out of sight and out of mind. These buckets are totally unique as far as business banking accounts go, and I can see the benefit of these buckets for new business owners being incredibly helpful to make sure that they are prepared for taxes and any emergencies that might pop up. Okay, that is my list. I hope it was helpful. Remember that not every bank account is for everybody. If this list helps you make a banking decision or help convince you of why you need separate finances for business and personal, then I will consider today a win and treat myself to some ice cream for a job well done or just because it's as hot as the surface of the sun in Texas today. Either way, I'm definitely getting ice cream. If you got something out of this video, then please like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I make videos like this and videos about all things money and finance every week. Also, if you have any experience with any of the banks on my list, let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.